Miss Bella. We are going to do a mat workout. And I've got the reformer set up here so you can really see the juxtapositioning of how these mat exercises are um, very nicely translated to the reformer and vice versa. First thing we're gonna do is footwork. So if you have a flex band, grab it. Again, if you want one, they're out on my front porch in a Ziploc bag. Come by and grab one as well. Um, I've got my hand weights here and my canned goods for later. Um, if you don't have a flex band and you want your hand weights as well. So let's just come onto our backs, onto your mat. And thinking about footwork, Let's put the flex band nice and broad here, nice and wide, so it's not a tourniquet. Let's go feet together, knees together. Um, with the flex band, you have some options. You can put your elbows, back of your arms, onto the carriage, or you can come up a little bit. A little more challenging to keep your elbows in a hover. I use a hitchhiker grip. Find your bony landmarks. Your head feels balanced front to back. Rib cage nice and relaxed on the carriage. And that primal posture, that neutral pelvis. And let's just begin to move the legs, moving the carriage. If this were a reformer class, I mentioned the primal posture. That comes from a TED Talk with the author of Eight Steps to a Pain-Free Back. Her name is Esther, and I'll spell her last name for you, G-O-H-K-A-L-E. And she talks about that feeling of having your tail out behind you rather than tucked underneath you. So you have that natural lift, that natural suspension in your middle to low back. And the breath I use as a tool. So when I extend my legs long, I draw the exhale and draw the zipper up. So it's like a pebble in a pond. Nice energy going in opposite directions. So now we can change to feet in V, turned out Pilates V. And again, moving. Imagine if you were on the reformer. I don't have to imagine that so much. I am on the reformer. What you might find is the angle of your legs going out, challenging those abdominal wall muscles. You don't want to uh, fillet or let your ribs pop off the carriage though. So just kind of imagine that blanket across your chest or your shirt in a, on a wooden hanger here. Let's do a few more here warming things up, letting the legs drop into the hip socket. Nice bit of weight. Let's just do three more here. It's a nice bit of upper body work as well when you have the flex bands. So now let's go back into parallel. Think about reformer being toes on the bar, um, not in a high heel shoe though. Let's just press it out for a moment. We're going to flex and point 10, 9. Find an angle that's going to challenge your abdominal wall, keeping that rib and hip connection, that Framework, just four, three, two, and one, and bring it back in. 
now in this high heel shoe, let's press it out and bring it in. Letting the legs just drop deep into that hip socket. Beautiful neutral pelvis. That natural suspension through your spine. Making sure that your fist doesn't move around. Almost as if your arms here are the shoulder blocks. Let's just do 10 more. Enjoying that zipper pulling up for nine. Eight. And seven. Ah, six. Five. Four. Feeling this in my arms. Three. Giving me some ideas for when the studio reopens, too. And one. And beautiful, and just relax your back. Maybe hug your knees in, and maybe rock from side to side. Release a little bit there. Let's do some single leg work, footwork. I'm transitioning to one foot here. Let's go back to having the heel on the bar. So I'm going to adjust my flex band so that it's broad at the heel. Other leg is in a chair. In that hitchhiker grip, we're going to extend the leg out for 10, 9, and 8. We're going to be layering some things coming up in a moment. Checking that the hips are balanced side to side. All right, here's five more. Four. Three. Two. And one. Now, we can go with more of a bicycle as you extend your other leg. You reach back. So I've still got my flex band foot in dorsiflexion. And I've got my gesture leg in a high heel shoe. That's up to you. Play around with it as you like. Let's do five. Four. Three. We are doing this, you guys. Two. And one. Beautiful. Let's take the flex band to the other foot, other hand. Option to hover your other arm here. Let's press out just the flex band leg. Enjoying how the sides are communicating to each other. You've got load bearing on the flex band side. You also have to have that balance on the other side. Otherwise, you'd be doing this on your side on the floor. Oh wait, you're already on the floor. Here's three more. Two. One going right into the bicycle for ten. Nine and eight. Seven. Six. Five. All right, here's your four. Three, two, 
hitchhiker grip. Now, kind of prepping for the hundred here. You don't have to lift your head, neck, chest. You have an option to. So I'm going to exercise my option to extend the legs out here and bring it in. So I'm just warming up my upper body. Still in that primal posture. Remember, it's that TED Talk, Esther, G-O-H-K-A-L-E, Eight Steps to a Pain-Free Back. Now, if you like, you can become up and back down. So just single chest lifts. Now, let's go up again, lifting head, neck, chest. And let's just do some bicep curls here just to get a sense of, do I like this resistance? Knowing that I'm going to begin to extend my legs in a moment. When I come back down onto my mat, I have the option of changing the resistance of my flex band. Let's just do three, two, make sure you haven't tucked your pelvis and one, and bring it back down. So now singles with leg extension and a bicep curl for 10. Opening the hips like a good book, nine. Letting the legs drop into those hip sockets, eight. Seven swans of swimming. Woo! Six geese of laying. Here comes the jewelry. Five golden rings. All right, four texting birds. Three French maids. Two turtle dove bars. And one partridge in that pear tree. And they are so beautiful in Fredericksburg this time of year. So now the hundred, if you're extending your legs, also flip your palms down. I do, can you see it? My thumb is here hooking to do a pump, um, an option. Another option for the hundred would be just to put your flex band over your shins and pump with your legs in a chair. I did that last time. I think I did 50-50 on one of those workout. So I'm going to try for the full hundred here. Woo, that's the challenge. Lifting the neck chest, extending the legs, little pumps. Inhale two, three, four, five, and exhale two, three, four, one. Inhale two, three, four, five, and exhale two, three, four, two. Inhale two, three, four, five, and exhale two, three, four, four. Inhale two, three, four, five, and exhale two, three. That's four. Inhale two, three, four, five, and exhale two, three, four, five. Inhale two, three, four, five, and exhale two, three, four, six. Inhale two, three, four, five, and exhale two, three, four, seven. Inhale two, three, four, five, and exhale two, three, four, eight. Inhale two, three, four, five, and exhale two, three, four, nine, inhale, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one hundred, knees in, hug your knees into your chest, well-deserved release of the back, maybe rocking from side to side, ha, ah, beautiful. So transitioning now, thinking about feet in straps rather than foot bar, we can again do the hitchhiker grip. And let's do some lowering and lifting. I'm gonna anchor my elbows to the carriage just beginning here and seeing where I go with this, extending the legs out to the 100 and slowly hinge. So when you think about feet and straps here, you want to let the tailbone kind of um, 
lengthen feeling as if you have like a red carpet that's rolled across the sidewalk and just gone over the curb toward the street. So that primal posture has that lift in your low back, really challenging those back muscle here and legs sitting deep in that hip cap. So allowing that hip to really release. You can flex and point, have fun with some nice stretches of the whole back of the leg. So now I'm gonna choose to flex my feet, keep my um, hands where they are, and just slowly begin to lower my legs. So on the reformer, I would go nice and low. I'd even feel those ropes on the top of my legs, but here, not so much. The challenge is that abdominal wall staying nice and flat. Um, still with that lift in your low back. So think about a bridge you would drive over, a level surface, but then you might have an arch underneath that bridge. And then hinging as you come back up, letting the legs really drop deep in the hip cap, rather than rocking or doing a sing-song move with your pelvis. So I'm gonna play around with pointing on the way down. Ooh, there's that foot bar. And then hinging on the way back. That zipper image, zipper pulling up from behind the belly button. I actually like having that foot bar there. It's pretty nice. So if you think about where you want to put your mat when you're at home working out, maybe bring a chair over and put it at the end of your mat so you can have that feedback of just tapping with the back of your legs onto that chair. Let's do three more here. Zipper pulling up. Shirt feels like it's just resting with this wooden hanger. Last one here. And then bringing it up. We can transition here to a single leg circle by taking one foot out of the flex band, resting your other foot on the mat, and I'm gonna bring my straps to one hand, same side. I'm gonna anchor my elbow, and we're just gonna do a leg circle here. So hydration of the hip cap, synovial fluid. So you move freely in your life, Live happily ever after. And as always, I want to make sure this um, stabilizing leg isn't doing a jitterbug movement. Five here. Four. Three. Two. One. And reverse it. How about ten? And nine. Eight. Seven. Five, four, three, two, and one, and bring it in. Switch to your other foot. I'm going high heel shoe here, but you don't have to. Anchoring the elbow or not. It's a little more challenging not. Extending the leg and letting the leg just fall around inside that hip cap. So the breath here I use as a tool, I'm thinking more of a nice stabilizer. Pelvis is balanced, nicely evenly weighted. I'm not rocking the pelvis side to side. Probably two more. And then reversing this. Try not to move my hand, my fist. So I'm not freezing up, I'm not tensing my body. I'm just going down the path of feeling heavy in my bony landmarks, allowing that weight to 
actually facilitate more stabilization and two and one beautiful now we're going to transition to coming up to sitting so on the reformer we roll to the side i would do the same thing on the mat and coming on up now what we're going to do here is sit with our legs straight out in front of us and thinking about arms pulling straps let's put the loop or the flex band around the feet here and let's go into a little bit of a bicep curl and again i do a hitchhiker grip so that i don't um, bend or crack my wrist here make sure that i don't lose my flex band i do just a little bit of a drape over the toes a little bit of a hoodie and then coming into that bicep curl position extending the arms there may be more slack on the on the ropes on the flex band test drive it see how you like this and again just like reformer work you keep your elbows on a shelf and collarbone very nicely open. Now, if you don't have a flex band, you guys keep moving. If you don't have a flex band, you can also use hand weights. Same principle, principles, finding your sits bones, broadening your collarbone, feeling the shoulder blades very flat on the back. If you don't have hand weights, grab your canned goods. And again, um, changing um, arm position, um, palms can face up to the ceiling. So let's just do 10 and 9. Creating suspension, lengthen the spine. How do you do that? Kind of in your imagination, pump up your disc space. Put some beautiful helium balloons between your discs of your spine. All right, let's just do four more here. Because my arms are shaking. Three, full arm extension. Two, so you can reach for all the good stuff. And one. Beautiful. I'm going to hang with these beans. And you hang with your flex band if you like, or your hand weights. We're going to just do some half rollbacks. Legs can be straight or bending your knees. Let's do feet together, knees together if you're going to bend your knees. And I think I'm going to bend my knees here. Find my sits bones. It's that hug a tree position, and as you exhale, you roll back over your sits bones, hands into your heart. Take a breath in and take that beautiful bow. Release and come back up. If you're looking at me like I've got three eyes because you're still on the flex band, let me get with you here a moment and see what you're experiencing. How's that going? Ah, very nice. There it is, breathing in. And there's that beautiful curve. And there's that uncurling. Uh, notice that my feet now are not flat on my mat. Toes are up. So just notice if that happened with you, you were just a little ahead of me on that awareness. Let's do five more. Exhale as you roll back over your sits bones, hands to your heart. Breathe in and take that beautiful half of a bow. And again, just like reformer, shoulders over hips when you do that half bow. Breathing in here. And you take that beautiful half of a bow. Uncurl and unfurl your spine. Three more here. Breathing in, take that beautiful half bow, last one, 
Breathing in behind you. Taking that over and rebuilding the spine. Now for full rowing, you know how on the reformer when you roll back and you extend your arms? Let's do that without the flex band here just to kind of get a sense for, for where we're going and to bring folks up to speed if they haven't done a reformer workout. Starts in a dancer's pose and you get on top of those sits bones. The spine is just suspended. So imagine your head, ribs, pelvis, just being those three orbs that are suspended from the ceiling, from the rafters. It's a relaxed spine. You have that natural curve in the back that is not rounding you. So finding those sits bones for yourself. And as you exhale, you roll back over your sits bones. Your hands are going to come into your heart. You're going to extend the arms down kind of in that airplane mode. And then take a half bow, shoulders over hips. The arms are going to sweep back, arms towards your ribs. And then we're going to do this beautiful butterfly stroke all the way over the legs and rebuilding the spine bone by bone by bone. One more with feeling, adagio. Exhale as you roll back over your sits bones. Point to the side exits of this craft, and let's bow to first class. Point to the drink cart, and then circle the arms. Point to the overhead compartments or the windows, or the armrest, back to first class, and then rebuilding the spine bone by bone by bone. Pick up your canned goods, your hand weights, or your flex bands. Let's go through it here. Get this over my toes. Now, if you're on flex bands, there's going to be a point, just like there is on the reformer, when slack happens. Just like on the reformer, don't let it throw you. All right, dancer pose, ready? As you exhale, roll back over your sits bones and point to the side exits. Take a high bow to first class. Arms come in towards the ribs and then you circle around and you rebuild your spine bone by bone by bone, rolling back over your sits bones. Point to the side exits. High bow, point to the drink cart, up and over. I am running into these um, shoulder blocks, that's okay, it's not gonna throw me. Exhale, rolling back over your sits bones. Airplane mode, you bow through. Point to the drink cart, and then all the overhead compartments, windows, or shoulder rest, arm rests, and rebuild your spine. How about a few more exhale, rolling back over your sits bones. Airplane mode, you bow through, arms toward the ribs, up and over that beautiful butterfly stroke, rebuilding your spine. Exhale, rolling back over your sits bones. Point to the side exits. Take a high bow to first class. There's that snack cart. Most important piece of the airplane, in my opinion. And rebuilding your spine. Now let's add some obliques to this because we've got side windows we can look out as well. So in that dancer's pose, roll back over your sits bones. I like to take a breath in here to prepare so that when I exhale, I feel that zipper pulling up and I can throw open the windows and back to center, rotating the rib cage, opening it back to center, high bow, right on top of those sit bones, rebuilding your spine bone by bone by bone. Now, if you're using your hand weights or your canned goods, 
Let's go through five without a break. Kind of putting them all together here. As you exhale, rolling back over your sits bones, rotating and opening it out, rotating the rib cage. Here's our second set. I'm not rocking around on my pelvis. Belly button is pulled in. Here's three. I'm not like a turtle going into my shell either. So my neck is that extension of my thoracic spine. All right, one last set. Throw open the shutters. Do a little spring cleaning while we're home alone. And that beautiful high half of, of a bow. And then rebuilding your spine bone by bone by bone. Nice. Um, wanted to do one more thing here and then probably wrap it up with a mermaid. Remember, um, the circular saw um, layering of this movement where you're holding on to one rope and you take it into a row and then from the row we did a little more focus of the rib cage and then we took the arm up and around and we finished it with this beautiful diagonal and then we moved into the next one. So now we can do this with the flex band as well, or with your can of beans or canned goods or with your hand weight. Let's sit here tall on our sits bones, abdominal wall engaged as if you have that hefty trash bag pulled at your waistline and collarbone is open. Let's just do five single rows here that feeling of the shoulder blade sitting just nicely on the back with the elbow tracking off to the side rather than going back around you for any kind of a rotation. Speaking of which, hold your row and rotate the rib cage. Just like that lid on the jar. Abdominal wall nicely engaged. I'm not pulling with my arm. This isn't a shoulder focus. It's just the ribs. And on this last one here, just float that free arm, that gesture arm up. Rotate, extending that foot, that flex, um, flex band arm. There's going to be slack. Don't let it throw you. Lower this arm and get a beautiful, 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 beautiful diagonal. Rebuild your spine. Take the row with the rib cage rotation. Oops, I can see myself in the computer screen. I was kind of back there a bit, so there I am tall. Arm comes up. There's the rotation of the rib cage. Slap happens. And that beautiful diagonal stretch. Feeling as if you have that Miss America sash. There's that arm standing very nicely in those back muscles. And get a beautiful stretch out of this. Let's do a few more here. Not committing to any number in particular, except this is probably three. Here's four. Oh, this has got to be one of my favorite all-time stretches. And the last one. And listen to your angel on that shoulder. Look at the one on your other shoulder. And back. So now, going to your other hand. Um, what I think I might do is... Uh, Use my cans of beans here. And where is that? Ah, yes, here it is. So, just a single row. 
we probably did more than five. I remember doing some talking. I talked about the elbow going to the side rather than behind you. Now hold the row and rotate the rib cage. Can you still hear me? Here's five, four, three, that suspension of your bony landmarks, head, ribs, pelvis. All right, let's go for the full Monty. There's the row plus rotation. Arm comes up, you rotate, and then you take this beautiful diagonal stretch. There's that Miss America sash. Rebuild it. Row plus rotation. Can of beans goes up. Can of beans goes down. Listen to the angel on your shoulder. Look at the one on your other shoulder. Three more here. Woo, these weights, you know, I'm, I like these weights. Very different from the flex band. comes down, you get this beautiful diagonal list of the angel on that shoulder. Last one here. Listen to the angel on your shoulder. Look at the one on your other shoulder and rebuild your spine and back to center. Let's finish this workout. It's been delightful. Let's do a mermaid stretch. So on your mat, you can, or sitting in a chair, the zig and the zag, finding the balance. My body just gave me some adjustments there. Suspending your spine, just hanging out in the space between the vertebrae. Just a little pumping up of the air between your vertebrae, the disc space. A little, give your pillows a fluffing. <sighs> like a fancy hotel, fluff those pillows. And then when you're ready, let's do a beautiful mermaid from side to side. Being that seagrass. Use your breath. Inhale, exhale. Letting the hips relax, release. Allowing the legs to just nicely rest in the hip sockets. And then switching your legs. And just kind of noticing the difference here. Just letting the fascia relax. You know how you put a sweater in some warm water? You just let the fibers release and relax a bit. Notice how you're able to sit a little taller with less effort. That's the key, less effort. <laughs> and then let's take a beautiful mermaid from one side to the other. A little Judy Collins, both sides now. Oh, Miss Karsher. You're a little corny. I have Bella's treat. She didn't sneak it this time because I've got it over here. One more, one more, guys, and then. I'll release you to your natural habitat. You're free to move about the cabin. Hope you get outside. It's a beautiful day. It's Thursday here. Sun is shining in the berg. Beautiful. Nice workout, Bella. You did great. She's got her treat. Oh, she's doing her down dog. She's doing her up dog. <laughs> oh, you got it. Alright, she's loving working out with you.
guys. Look at this dog. Look at this dog. All right, say goodbye to everybody. We'll see you next time. Enjoy your day. Nice workout, Bella. You did great. Ooh, nice pose. <laughs> that could be getting ready to do knee stretches. <laughs>